you know, even introverts have to get out the house sometime. Getting outside, getting in the sunshine, taking in this vitamin D is essential for maintaining good health, you know. Um, I'm somebody that, especially with the moon transit in my 12th house, I'm somebody that really um, likes to stay to myself and stay inside. But when you get a chance to get outside, then you open up yourself to opportunities of synchronicities. There's only very few synchronicities that you can get when you are in the house. So to all my introverts, this is a reminder to you to take a step outside and trust in the spiritual guidance that you have, trust in the intuitive notions that you feel, whether it be a walk around your neighborhood, whether you go close to a body of water, whether you just wanna go outside to you know, talk to some leaves or the trees, whatever it is, make yourself available for synchronicities to happen, for people to find you with those messages that only source can deliver through means of other people. It's your reminder for today. Take care of yourself and your mental health. So to any of my neurodivergent people who are, who's been stuck in like this loop of masking and people pleasing the moment that you step out the door, let me invite you to just take a day, or just take a couple hours, whatever feels comfortable to you, so just unmask, you know? Um, and I'm talking to myself as well because I'm realizing that majority of the videos that I post online, like they are the mass version of myself, you know? And if I were to make a video where I was going through like a depression or something like that, then you would catch me, you know, unmasking. But just watch how the people in your life react to that because some people are used to you masking and they like that version of you when you're just you know people pleasing and you're anxious and you're nervous and in a way it's like depending on the person and their intentions like they they like that version of you because that version of you is submissive that version of you is is low-key or high-key people pleasing and the moment that you start to unmask you know it's and they get that different side of you it's like you get to see if they reject it or if they accept that real version of you. And most people, most neurodivergent people mask because it's like we only are comfortable to be ourselves in the, you know, in, the, in our four walls, you know? So, and I, one thing that I realized when I'm the unmasked version of me is that most compliments are like selfish. And what I mean by that is like when people give you a compliment like, hey, I like your outfit or whatever, it's like they're expecting you to say thank you. And if you don't say thank you or gratitude, you know, then it's like you're being rude. But I didn't tell you to compliment me in the first place. I like my outfit, too. I appreciate it. But I just don't feel like talking, you know. And I feel like if compliments were selfless, then people would just give you the compliment and just keep on pushing but most compliments are expected some type of, you know, energetic return, some type of reciprocity. Um, now, depending on the mood that I am, like somebody says, somebody gives me a compliment, you know, the, the, people, please, the people pleasing version of myself would just immediately respond. But sometimes I just really don't feel like talking. Like sometimes I do step out the house with the intention of, I'm not gonna to speak to nobody today, you know? And I do use discernment because some people that interact with you are interacting with you because they have a message for you because, you know, Source loves to use other people to speak to you. So, you know, it's, uh, we're, the, the time that we are in right now, especially with Pluto going into Aquarius, you know, like it's really gonna be, imperative for you to be as genuine and authentic as possible because that allows you to call in your tribe that allows you to call in the people that really vibrate on your frequency and not the frequency of your masking because there's two different frequencies you put out like when you're masking you put out a certain frequency that really attracts 
damn near everybody to you but when you are your authentic self like this is who i am i'm going to be myself then the frequency that you are putting out is authentic and people can vibrate to that and you are calling in the, the people that see you for your genuine self that see you for who you truly are you know and that version of yourself is pure that version because another thing that happens when you mask is that you you know um you constantly think about what you're saying and how it's going to affect other people and, and you are constantly you know you're most of people are like well i won't say most people but there are you know a handful of people who are energetically sensitive to other people's emotions and we are always feeling what other people are saying and so you're you know this when you go home you're like did i say the right thing you're playing what you said over and over again you're playing what other people said to you especially if you have people around you who constantly say things to you to that are like you know um backhanded compliments or just like shaded in a way or you know and when you are being yourself like unmasking then you you truly get to see through like people's intentions you really get to see through people's words you know and fortunately or unfortunately for you that's going to come with you breaking away from a lot of people you know a lot of neurodivergent people don't really have a lot of friends because a lot of people can't truly understand, understand and understand your way of thinking, your way of going about in the world, the way that your mind processes information differently, you know? So if somebody does, you know, make it to the inner realms of your comfortable, you know, circle or not even circle, just like your comfortable space, then you won't hopefully you won't have to worry about the things that they say to you or you won't have to worry about masking because they have seen the unmasked version of yourself and they're still here you know i was looking back at some photos the other day just like of my life and realizing that like damn i spent the last you know four birthdays by myself you know and that that really um had me just go through this thought loop of you know just the people in my life the people i feel comfortable around how you know friend groups are constantly changing and sometimes you invite you know um energy vampires in your life and it sucks that you're so sensitive to everything Be well i won't say it sucks it's actually like a, a great defense but you truly like being extremely sensitive it's like you feel everything so deeply you know you can see through things and usually like I see a lot of friend groups where you know uh, people are going through like competition with each other and like maybe they're always like jealousy and backstabbing and stuff like that but with like somebody who's you know ADHD autistic you know just extremely sensitive dealing with anxiety or depression it's like the moment somebody's energy changes around you you pick it up because you're so sensitive to people's energies you know so people with negative intentions don't really make it that far <laughs> in in your life you know and it's um it's a journey man it's a it's a self-discovery journey you know um just learning more about yourself through your experiences and other people um, and it's it's a awesome feeling though when you genuinely get to connect with somebody else that has like the best intentions because you know um, Even now, when, I, when I'm making this video, I feel like I constantly have to say words. And if I like pause, and people are gonna turn away from the video, like that's a form of people pleasing, yo. It's like you know when I'm showing up as my like unmasked version. When I'm just like I don't give a fuck of like I'm filling in every word. Like people are just going to take in the message, and they're just going to like stay here and, and you know see what I have to say. Um, so. <sighs> 
I'm making more of these YouTube videos because like for some reason I'm shadow I don't I don't want to say for some reason but I'm shadow banned on TikTok I'm shadow banned on Instagram because of the the content that I put out and things that I talk about you know so you guys are going to see me here on YouTube a lot more um, so you are like like subscribe comment on this video if you you know if you dig this this content that i'm putting out i would truly appreciate it um, and sometimes like i'll just like today i didn't plan on making this video i was just walking you know i was just walking and i was like let me just let me just make a video and say what's on my mind so a lot of times these videos won't, you know, um, unless I'm doing like a lecture or like deciphering reality, you know, um, a lot of these videos are just gonna be like, you know, word, like words from the soul, you know, um, and the people that resonate are going to feel it. You know, I'm going through my Mars return right now. Mars is going retrograde, so I'm truly in this new, like, I have on this new, um, these new lenses of self-discovery, and I'm just cutting out any contact that doesn't feel, like, genuine. It's like, yeah, like, being genuine with yourself, having respect for yourself, you are going to demand that other people respect you in the same way that you respect yourself. And you, like, I'm one of those people that I really appreciate, like, genuine authenticity. Like, don't come around me with no bullshit to, like, get in my circle. Like, just be who you are. And if we click, we click. And if we don't click, then we don't click. You don't have to be somebody else to be around me because I'm always going to show up as my myself. And sometimes when you show up as your authentic self, you know, whether it be masking or unmasking, that offends people that are, you know, that are being fake. So I, I've really stopped posting a lot of video. Well, in the past couple of days, I haven't posted any videos on TikTok. I haven't posted any videos on Instagram because like, it really just feels like a popularity contest where people are just posting what's popular because that's what TikTok is rewarding now. And the content that I was posting was like, I wasn't doing it to be popular. I was doing it just because, I had to clear out my phone. My, my phone storage was full. But let me bring this this video to a close by just saying, like, like I'm a I'm a Scorpio rising, right? And I'm a very private person, and I'm very selective with the things that I put out about myself. You know what I mean? Um, so when I do put out a video, like it's. Like tomorrow's not promised and I don't want to be remembered by putting out content that wasn't genuine, you know? So the, a lot of the, re the reason why I'm starting to post more content on YouTube is because like, like you could just show up and you be yourself and the people that are going to find you are going to find you. The people that are going to like you are going to like you. And you know, like it is what it is. So I'm in this new, you know, journey of, of you know, self-discovery where, you know, um, like I have to be genuine, you know, um, as a service to myself, you know, um, and it, it's, I feel like it's a respect for the people around me. If you were coming to my, my page because you like my content, you don't want to see me up here faking and shit, so. Anyway, um, I appreciate y'all, man, for staying this long in the video and watching. Like, comment, share, follow if you dig this content, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.